Oh, hi, Yuka Zamash, Fudashi Wap, by Akiti, and welcome back to my diary of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Well, let's start with the 9th of September here. And it's exactly 12 p.m., that's kinda neat, actually. <laughs> Alright, I had to take a screenshot of this because I'm a jerk. <laughs> and, well, I basically tried to get Silano to move because his house was always in such a Friggin screwed up place. It was always in front of the friggin bridge um, that connects two of my land masses, I guess, with each other. And I really wanted him to go. I don't really have anything against him, or well, then again, I also don't exactly love him or anything. But I don't know. I just wanted to clean up my town a little bit, though. I know that it doesn't do anything if you, you know, screw your animal buddies over. It's really all just about not talking to them for two weeks. So, well. But I got enjoyment out of making him walk into a pit. Yep. <laughs> I got the aggravation joke, and I'm not sure which one that was anymore. There are a few that could be aggravation, but hey, we got it. That's all that counts. Oh, look, we had Phineas back in town again. And he gave me the insect Enso encyclopedia badge. He should not give me a badge for talking, once again. And this shows that I'm a fan of bugs, which maybe in game might be right, but in offline not so much. Or in real life, whatever, doesn't matter. Hey, catches of today, because speaking of bugs, right? The yellow butterfly, which looks pretty neat, actually. And, well, that was uh, it already. Again, there's not a whole lot to catch anymore if you've done your quote-unquote homework in summer, so... Well, Tuesday, we had a new person coming in, Lucy, she's a piglet, I'm not sure anymore if I invited her or not, I might have, but I don't remember, I don't know, in any case, I was, she was neat, I think I invited her actually, but I'm not sure, don't hold me to it, if I didn't show screenshots of it, I probably didn't, yep. <laughs> then we had a moment, or I had a moment with Kid Cat, who calls me Lady Bro, which is very cool. And he wanted to give me a new nickname, and he came up with Little K. You always do something with your first letter of, of your name or something, so it's like Little K, Sugar K, blah blah blah, this and that. It's, it's neat. I can dig it. I usually let them pick their names for me. We got the sheepiness joke. This is definitely one of my more favorite because it's like this ah 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 kind of emotion and uh, I gotta dig it, I really do. I made this little neat screenshot in the retail shop because it just fit together so nicely. It was the T-Rex head and some behind of some other uh, dinosaur I don't recognize it right now. But it kind of almost looked like it fits together. And I had to take a screenshot and I tweeted it too. It's just freaking awesome. <laughs> well, that was it for Tuesday. Let's move on to Wednesday. Again, not much to say about wetters or anything else, so let's go. Ah, uh, right. There was Surano, who actually gave me a compliment. That's Diana there in the picture on the left, uh, on the right. The left is the house, so there you go. Meet house, everyone. And not the doctor. Hey, you know what people are saying about you lately? That you're kind of an aspiring designer. Oh, really? They do? Who's they? And I think I was talking to him a lot. And what he ended up saying was kind of awkward. I, I had to take a screenshot. I'm like, what the hell? He's like, whoa, is he now, kitty? Deep breaths, okay? Now tell Papa what's up. Uh -huh. I'm like, Papa? What? Okay, you're starting to creep me out. Get out of my town. <laughs> That's how I felt. There is the heartbreak joke, which... That's not a joke. How can you even say that's a joke? That's not funny. Heartbreak sucks. So go away. Um, well, I look a little stoned in this picture, I guess. But uh, I finished paying off my home loan and that's all that counts, right? <laughs> Apparently she was high on... I don't know. Something. She was high on... Uh, Sirano calling or telling her papa or something. I have no idea. Catches of the day. The oyster. 
Well, there's not much to say. It's an undersea creature, so you have to dive for it. The clam, which is another diving uh, creature. And the king salmon, which... Man, you know, the salmon looks so cool, but the king salmon is just kind of like, Yup, so I exist. Yep. And the amazing painting. That's pretty much it. Alright. Thursday, with another very darkish picture because it was already 5.9pm uh, why not and we got the disbelief joke because yeah I don't believe that I got up that late on that day jeez well or I played that late whatever <laughs> whatever works right and there was not, go not a lot going on that day it's just a little bit of catches of the day which we have a pill bug you get that from hitting stones still it's kind of weird a violin beetle, a house centipede, man, that thing looks fugly when you try to catch it. Ugh. And that's about it. Thank God. <laughs> Friday. Hey, look, my house is finally even. There's no more hole on the left side. Isn't that good? We got the sunniness joke. I believe that's just weird lines coming from your face and being happy, basically. I like it. I'll take it. And Frita came to me and was like, I'm moving out. And it's not like I hated her or disliked her. I really dug her, actually. But um, she was on that weird other side of my town a little bit. Kind of like behind Sudano's house. And I was like, you know what? I don't specifically crazily love you. I don't specifically hate you either. You're cool, but... I would like to see who else I could get into my town, so I'm letting you go. And she's all like, ha, I get it, you're playing it cool, trying to, your best not to cry, it's okay. And I'm like, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> well, this was the glorious day where I got a golden axe. Gasp. Again, this is um, what you get after getting 50 saplings. So if you buy 50 of those little tree starters, you get a golden axe for free. It's pretty neat. I was actually looking, constantly, like, almost nagging about it. I'm like, gosh, shouldn't I have 50 by now? Can I have that friggin' axe by now? Or what's going on? And I finally got it. Because I knew I was somewhere close, so... Here we have a little screenshot of Sam, who, as I said... I made him move into my town. This is how his house looks like. And I made him that custom shirt that you can download if you want from my website. I made a QR code and everything. It's an exact replica of one of the shirts he actually wore during the uh, TV show. Um, it looks very simple, but it was kind of kind of a bit uh, toughy to make. Because there's a, not just white and blue going on on the shirt. There's also some sort of weird other blue and something orange or something going on and I've tried to really replicate that but uh, yeah it looks really neat so if you wanted that or if you were wondering there you go Saturday sun and rain that's pretty cool and friggin puddles photobombing there because <laughs> why not there were well double rainbows yeah yeah now we can all sing that song together that's great and I really liked it, and I had to really take a screenshot of that. It's it's just neat. It's super. Ooh, we had a person camping named Kitty, and it was so funny. I, I invited her to come live with us, because it was just too hilarious. Because her name is Kitty, and my name is Kitty. It's, a little, it's spelled a little different, I know. But it just sounded so funny to say, hey, Kitty is talking to kitty or something you know you can make all those kitty jokes so I asked her to stay even though she's more of like a snouty uh, personality and I already have Diana and you know but and I did already have a cat I mean I do already have a cat as in Kit Kat and I didn't really want to have the same of you know like the same uh, animals a bunch of times if I could somehow help it but I just had to the joke, you know. We learned, speaking of jokes, we learned the sadness joke, which, again, it's not funny, man. <laughs> this is how my quote-unquote achievement room looked from the 
top down. I've got two uh, trophies there. I got some sitting um, seatings or sitting opportunities. I've got that weird table and there were some of those small miniatures that I already made. Actually, a lot of miniatures. <laughs> I was starting to run out of space, really. And I'm like, well, geez, I can't leave them here. But for now, it, it was still good because they still had space, you know? Catches of the day, if you want to call it like that. Uh, the warm painting, really. And that's about it. Nothing else. Sunday was kind of interesting because... Uh, Gracie showed up, which she will if you have the second last biggest uh, shop, basically. Because the next one contains her, she has a whole floor on that shop, and she's gonna make style checks, that's what she calls them. So she's gonna come to the town, she's gonna stand at the square sometimes, and she will give you a topic, for example, cute, and you have to dress up completely... Well, not completely, but mostly completely and cute, so to wow her, I guess, and to make her consider coming to your uh, town. I believe you have to do it f four times. Three or four times. I believe it's four times. Um, the interval of when she shows up is it's very random, so it might take a while. Yeah. And also, if you have multiple... People in your living in your town, you can't do it multiple times. If one person did it, it's over. She will hand you a sweets furniture piece, but you can again only get one if you pass her check. And again, if you have multiple people living in your town, only one person can because she's gonna be gone by the time you bring the other people out, even if you go right immediately after. Yep, those are the rules. I also found a friggin' four-leaf clover, finally. Um, how you do that is sometimes there are clovers on the ground and if you like rip them off, kind of like you would with um, weeds, you sometimes or sooner or later get a four-leaf clover. It's a lucky item, so there you go. Well, that's pretty much it for this week. Again, there's just not super much going on, but I really don't want to bore you with repetitions, so that's kind of good. As always, my series is affiliated and associated with the shop on my website. So go there and check stuff out. Again, Animal Crossing stuff, My Little Pony stuff, Sailor Moon stuff, Pokemon stuff, lots of more stuff coming. I have a few more ideas, actually quite a few. So if you would like to go get something or tell a friend, feel free to. Other than that, as always, I hope you liked my little diary. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for doing it, and I'll see you next time. Bye! -o.